So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. And we are going to talk about Benjamin Mendy. I know a lot of you have been asking for my thoughts and opinions on Benjamin Mendy. But I was smart, smarter than the average bear. I was waiting for him to sign for a football club, uh, which is why I didn't speak about it straight away. Um, and I was waiting to see if he signed for a club, whether a club would give him a chance. Um, the Sun newspaper, one of the worst rags out there, has said, shock move. How's it a shock? He's a footballer that's been cleared, mate. Anyway, we're going to get into this. Uh, you know uh, the crack. Make sure you smash the likes up for the video. Make sure you are subscribed. Pushing towards 19k. So let's get that boxed off. Now make sure you leave your comments and super chats down below. And uh, check out the main channel. I'll have a video dropping on that channel in a while about Harry Kane and why I think we should sign him. Uh, we won't sign him, but why I think we should. Uh, but anyway... Uh, let's read through this. Um, where are we? Benjamin Mendy signs for new club days after he is found not guilty of... I ain't saying that word. I'll get demonetized. Um, anyway. Former Manchester City defender Benjamin Mendy has signed for a new club days after being found not guilty for... And attempted. Uh, the ex-Premier League star and World Cup winner with France. I think a lot of people have forgotten that. Was found not guilty... Uh, by a jury at Chester Crown Court on Friday. Earlier this year, the footballer had been found not guilty of sexual offences against a number of women, but the jury were unable to reach verdicts on two of the charges, and there was a retrial in which he was found not guilty last week. On Wednesday, the French league Ernside FC Lorient announced that they had signed the 29-year-old. In a statement, a spokesperson for Lorient wrote, the club is pleased to announce today the signing for two seasons of French international left-back Benjamin Mendy. After passing medical examinations, Mendy comes to reinforce the squad for this season. He joins his new teammates at the club, uh, a Space FCL training ground later today. Mendy became the Premier League's most expensive defender when City paid £52 million to Monaco for him in 2017. Won three titles with Man City and was part of France's World Cup winning squad in 2018. Mendy was released by Man City when his contract expired at the end of last month, um, having played for the current Premier League champion, last played for the current League champions in August 2021. Now, let me just go back a minute. Let's just rewind. It's like an onion. Just peel the layers off one by one. This guy was at the peak. He was playing for Manchester City, um, winning trophies, winning World Cups, going on to be great, great defender, one of the greats the Premier League has ever seen. Fantastic footballer. And just like that, bish, bash, bosh, you're now in jail, awaiting a trial. For nearly two years, this geezer has had his credibility, uh, had his football taken away from him, his credibility is in tatters, um, based off of no real evidence. Now, whether you believe he's done it or not done it, is kind of irrelevant. A court has cleared him of all charges. A court has deemed there is no evidence sufficient to charge this guy with any of the offences. Now, listen, we don't know what happened. We weren't there. But this don't, as a high-profile Premier League footballer, this does not get just light work. This will be run the fine tooth comb over it, dig deep into everything, do all the check. You know how it works. And to be cleared of everything, having two years of his footballing career taken away from him when he was going into his prime years as a footballer, I think it's fucking disgusting. I can't lie. Yeah, and we see this quite often, not just in football, but in other sports and just in every walk of life. Charges dropped after no this, no evidence. Uh, charges dropped because of... The, like, when is it going to be the other way around? If you're falsely accusing someone or not guilty, and this guy has had two years of his career taken away from him, when is it now? Well, what about this person who accused him? When do you deal with that person? Because they walk away. That's it. They just walk away. This guy's now got to build his reputation back up, having missed two years of football, and now he's playing for Lorient. With all due respect to Lorient, you know, this guy, when he was playing, was playing for Manchester City. Now look at the club he's playing for. I know Man City could have re-signed him, but Man City have moved away from him and they're going in a different direction in terms of the club, 
playing with centre halves at, at left back and stuff like that. And now he's got to build his reputation up again at 29 years old. Meanwhile, the people that accused him, they're roaming around the streets, probably doing it to the next person. It's absolutely disgusting. And I believe that somebody that accuses a guy of doing that falsely, no evidence, kicked out a call, charges dropped, that person should go to jail. Because he's never going to recover from that. That will follow him for the rest of his life now. And he's not been charged. He's not been found guilty. He's not been found guilty. Sorry, he was charged, but now he's not been found guilty. Not been found guilty of anything at all. Not a single piece of evidence to prove he's guilty of doing anything. But why can these people just roam the streets like it's nothing? And now he's going to have that following round for the rest of his life and have to build his career back up again, starting at a lower team and potentially never get any higher because he's running out of years in football. Let's be real with it. He's not played football for two years unless he was part of Prison FC. <laughs> right? But now he's got to build his rep up and that will follow him everywhere. Yeah, and when it's something as serious as that, yeah, I believe that the people that accuse him should be charged as well. They should they should have some level of comeback on them because this happens all too often. How many times do we see it with Premier League footballers? I see it with Basuma. Seen it with other players. Charges dropped, kicked out of court, no sufficient evidence. Can't charge him for that. Sorry, can't sentence him for that. Can't do anything. You're not convicted for that. So. Why does, why does the person get to walk away scot-free but the footballer, his reputation's in tatters? And the thing is, I know a lot of these footballers are dickheads. Yeah? And a lot of them, they can't handle the fame, the money, they, or they think they're invincible and all of that, and I get that, right? But at the same time, at the same time, that guy was one of the best left-backs in the world. He was winning major honours, and now he's playing for Lorient. Because of what? Because a few, a few people said he did this and this. And there's no evidence to suggest he did. Yeah, I find it staggering. Yeah, that people just get away with it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, kicked out of court. He walks out, says, um, I'm not going to repeat the word because I'll get it wrong. And I don't want to go mad viral again. Enough to, I can't speak Arabic. <laughs> I can't do, can't do any of that. Uh, but anyway, Sky Sports are following him around like a little lost puppy. You got any words for us, Benjamin? You got any words for us? They just ignored every question. I can't remember the guy's name at Sky Sports. Ignored every single question. And do you know what? Fair play to him for ignoring every single question. Because the way the media spin stuff is a disgrace. The Sun newspaper, Benjamin Mendy, in shock move. How's it a shock? He is a free man. Not been found guilty of anything. But now they're saying, in shock. How's it a shock? He's a footballer. And that footballer's now going to be playing football again. How is that a shock? Yeah, and the narrative and the way things get spun by, especially that rag, yeah, is a disgrace. Right, like, whether he's done it or not, we don't know. But there is genuinely no evidence, hence why it got kicked out of a court. And the, the people that have accused him of that are walking around, potentially going to do it again. How many times just like look at the Andrew Tate case, for example. The guy, the girl that's accused, one of the girls that's accused of saying that Tate did this, has done it to seven different blokes. Seven. When's there a comeback on these people? When is there a comeback from the court system, yeah, and the law to say, no, actually, you're going to jail, mate, yeah? Falsely accusing this, putting his reputation in the bin, no evidence, kicked out of court, ruined his career for two years, and now he's got to go and start all over again while you're just walking around like it's nothing. Should be comeback on the women, I'm telling you. Yeah, and people won't like what I'm saying. And again, I don't care. I would always say what I think. Yeah, and at the end of the day, if the guy's been cleared, he should be allowed to play football. I said it with Mason Greenwood as well, by the way. Yeah, Mason Greenwood, I think his missus just had a baby the other day. Yeah, Mason Greenwood should be allowed to play football. I don't know why he's not. What's the crack? Is he standing at Man United or is he going elsewhere? Yeah. And at the end of the day, that will follow him for the rest of his life as well, Greenwood. But he's still with the woman. They just had a baby. They're engaged to be married. Well, what's the issue here? What's the issue? If you've been convicted and you go jail, cool, I get it. You're you're a wrong in me. But if you've not been going to jail and you've been let out scot-free, 
after two years of your career being put in the bin, the people should have some sort of comeback on that. Especially if they've got previous of doing it to other blokes. Now, I think it's mad. It is actually insane. The amount of times this happens and the guy's career is finished, he's now going to go and play for Lorient. Where did they even finish in the league last season? Let me have a look. Yeah, it winds me up. It does. It actually genuinely winds me up. And it happens all too often. Right, they finished 10th in the league. 10th in the league. So he's going to a mid-table French team when he was a World Cup winner and multiple champion of England. Up here, peak of his powers, had the world in his hands. Had it all in your hands. And now he's playing for a mid-table French team at 29 years old. He's pretty much finished, isn't he? Let's be real. Yeah, unbelievable. Disgusting. And I, I wish him all the best. Yeah, go and smash it, mate. Maybe you'll get a move to PSG next season or something. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Uh, leave it in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, people like that accuse men of doing that and then it gets thrown out. The women should have some level of comeback. It's wrong. It's out of order and it ruins fucking careers and it ruins reputations. And it's not on. Yeah, but it's so easy for a woman to just sit there and do a throwaway comment, yeah, show some moody text messages, and all of a sudden, you're banged up. Yeah, it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. But listen, it does. Nothing I can do about it apart from just giving my thoughts on it. So listen, let me know what you think. Um, like I said, just because there'll be people that so there'll be people in this comment section that go, just because it, were, it was found not guilty doesn't mean he didn't do it. It just means there was no evidence. Well, cool, I understand that, but present the evidence, otherwise it's just words, isn't it? I could say, oh, I went out with Shakira on a date last night. But unless I can prove it, it didn't happen, did it? It is what it is. Uh, leave your comments and super chats down below. Smash the likes up. Sub to the channel. Go and check out the video on the main channel. My reasoning as to why Arsenal should sign Harry Kane. And uh, yeah, we're out of here, people. Adios amigos.